Denoising with Znoise is a two-step process. First, you must create the noise profile of the noise effect in your audio. Then, you can use Znoise's tools to obtain the perfect noise reduction amount to suit the song. Of all the piano recordings I did with Dave Brubeck, I thought Koto to be an excellent choice. The song starts out extremely soft and gets very, very strong in sections. While it's these lower level sections, that noise becomes most apparent. Typically, you'll find noise prior to the first note of performance. That's the case here. In about the first beat and a half, I found some noise. What I did is I set up a shuttle with Digital Performer so that we can just constantly audition that section of noise, allowing Z Noise to learn exactly what noise to extract. By opening up the plugin, I see a couple of familiar things. Threshold, the reduction, the attack, release, transients, knee, all things we spoke of. But optimize is default and norm. Remember, the piano punches the best setting because of the attacks of the notes. Let's raise our reduction up a little bit here. Raise our reduction up here to about around 30. 30 will be a great starting point. The attack being quick, the release about 39 is great. Transients we'd like to preserve. And remember, the softer knees are going to be best for preserving tone. Well, our objective will be to learn. Let's now play the area of noise. You'll notice you'll see two lines. The first line is input, which is green. The second line is output, which is red. By hitting the learn button, what's happening now is Znoise is understanding the input source. As I hit learn once again, Znoise has now learned the profile, which is indicated by the white line. I'm going to stop transport, take out my shuttle, and play the song. As I raise my threshold, you will notice the piano start to change its sound. Of course, the more aggressive I am in raising threshold, is the more drastic the piano will be changed. Notice how it sounds quite dark. By bringing the white line under the red and green lines, you're not noise reducing at all. So it's a matter of finding that fine line, that compromise between too much and too little. Well, you can certainly hear when it affects the audio. But one of the great features that Znoise has is the audio and difference button. By clicking on difference, we're able to hear what we're extracting only. This will confirm either too much tone or too little noise has been reduced. Notice how we start to hear piano content. Obviously too aggressive of a threshold. As I reduce threshold, the piano tone then disappears and all that's left is noise. That's really the best way to refine the amount of noise to audio ratio. The most important thing, though, is to find those fine lines between too much and too little. One of the most important things with any plugin, especially Znoise, is to maintain the integrity of the performance. So be very, very careful with your threshold and reduction amounts. And by experimenting with different amounts of threshold and reduction, you'll find the ideal setting for your recording.